Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very quick to discuss in the world of iOS as well as jailbreaking. This is going to be part one of a two-part video. The reason for that is because yesterday Apple stopped signing iOS 9.3.2, but just for the 9.7-inch iPad Pro. Certain users who were updating to 9.3.2 inside of iTunes were experiencing an Air 56 message, which permanently bricked their device. There's no fix for it, so entering DFU mode, reconnecting to iTunes, and trying to restore simply wouldn't do the trick. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen this happen. Individuals who replace their Touch ID components pre-iOS 9.2.1 and even 9.2.1 would encounter an Air 53 message inside of iTunes when attempting to restore, again, also permanently bricking their devices. Apple's solution for that was to just disable Touch ID if it detected that a third-party Touch ID related component was installed into the device. So we can't expect a fix for iOS 9.3.2 on the 9.7 inch iPad Pro to come relatively soon. Not a new firmware, so we're not going to get iOS 9.3.3 just because of this particular 9.7 inch iPad Pro issue. Instead, Apple's just going to release an updated build for the device, most likely on Monday. So that's when part two of this video will actually come into play. I'm just going to discuss it and kind of remind you guys of what I've said up until this point. So if you don't have a 9.7 inch iPad Pro, it doesn't really concern you and you can upgrade to iOS 9.3.2 provided you're not already jailbroken or you're interested in the features iOS 9.3.x has to offer because as most of you know, if you're on a lower firmware, I recommend just staying where you're at, again, unless you're comfortable updating and unless you absolutely need the features of iOS 9.3.x. That's the best way to do it is to just upgrade to a firmware once a jailbreak has been released. Speaking of jailbreaking, how will this particular problem impact jailbreaking? Will it impede it? Thankfully, not really. However, we do need the updated build of iOS 9.3.2 to be released before a jailbreak utility drops, so definitely don't expect one this weekend. Hopefully, we can receive one soon. Remember, as I've said quite a few times, jailbreak developers were targeting iOS 9.3.2 because Apple is actually focused on stability with that release, and it's probably going to be one of the last iOS 9 updates, save any potential jailbreak patching 9.3.x updates in the future. So that's really it for now. I don't want to get too sidetracked. We're just focused on the 9.7 inch iPad Pro issue and whether it will impede the jailbreak. And the answer to that question is no. For additional information on jailbreaking in general, as well as 9.3.2, definitely check out the cards right now. Of course, click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. That way you won't miss out anytime I release new videos covering iOS as well as jailbreaking. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is I see you signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.